Hello friends, here I am with yet another measuring video. I just want to make sure that all the new people are being able to measure themselves properly for our product. So, my recommendation is that you figure out how much your own body squishes. So let me show you a normal, natural waist measurement for me. So, just holding it normally, like a normal person, I'm like a 32, somewhere in that realm. But for corsets, you want to see how much your body has compression. And it's a good thing. Like, if you're squishy, you're gonna really love this product. It's gonna be a miracle for you. So, honestly, freaking, I suck in when I do this. So, all right. So, I got to 28. So, yay! <laughs> and even on my period, look at me. Nope, nope, Michelle, nope. So, keep in mind that when you are measuring, don't measure right after you've like eaten maybe a Chinese buffet. Don't measure at night. I don't recommend that just because that's not as accurate. And also, whoop, don't measure lower than your waist. Don't say, oh, well, I wear my jeans down here, which who are you? It's not 2003 anymore, guys. There is so many high-waisted jeans out there. I love the high waist. Oh my gosh. They can't make them high enough. If they were like, yeah, we just came out with ribcage jeans, I would be in it to win it and I'd be buying those ribcage jeans that went all the way up to my ribs because I love compression through here. Imagine that, I sell that. So I wanted to show sort of how you could incorporate this specific corset from our collection this week into your lives. It's gonna take just a couple of minutes to lace up Sorry, that first one took so long. I was like, okay, no, I'm not gonna apologize. I'm not apologizing for my existence. Speaking about apologizing for your existence and all of that stuff, I was trying to look up if there was any kind of like spiritual mystical ceremony for closing out a year and just saying like, okay, year, thank you for what you've done for me, but I'm not gonna live in the past anymore. I'm done with you and I'm looking toward the future. And honestly, I. I didn't really find what I was wanting. So I thought about making up my own sort of version of like what it would be like to close the year. And I thought, first of all, you would want to say something that would be really, really hard to say, but that's why you're doing it. That's why you're closing it, is giving the power of release by saying, 2020, I love you. And then give it the reasons why. So for me, it would be like, 2020, I love you. You helped me to be a lot more brave about making videos for my company. I never wanted to do this. I honestly, guys, I started getting just sort of these inspirations and ideas for making videos for my company probably five years ago, maybe even more than that. And what I kept telling myself in my brain was, yeah, but like, you don't look good on camera. Camera adds 10 pounds. Um, you need to lose weight. You need to be like, probably like 140 pounds before you can be on camera. And, and then people won't say mean things <laughs> to you. And so I held myself back from doing what I wanted and what I really, really felt strongly inspired to do because I thought, oh yeah, well, I haven't lost the weight. I mean, I'm trying, you know, I'm doing what I, what I can, but I don't want to, look too big on camera and I'm sorry if that makes any of you feel bad like it made me feel bad too it sucked so 2020 because I lost all of my shows and I didn't have that in-person interaction with all of you I thought man I, I gotta figure out some way to give them that because it's really important for me for you to know who makes your product and who has got your back hi bra anyway so that that would be the first thing is like 2020 thank you for actually helping me do videos more that was really really great uh second would be i forgive you Woo! i forgive you <laughs> like i forgive myself i can forgive everyone for like saying stuff that really pissed me off <laughs> that's fine and then i thought you could say i'm sorry um to so i'm just trying to <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry doesn't always have to be bad. Sorry, I think it can be positive because once again, we're talking about sort of a releasing type of energy. So you'd say, hey, I'm sorry. Uh, you don't have to like say it to the person. I think you can just say it in your heart. And then G, 
just saying I'm grateful for you because those words all hold real big power. There's actually a book about it. It's it's a Hawaiian healing method called Ho'opono Opono. And if you want to learn more about it, you can Google it. <laughs> Have fun spelling that. But so I hope you can all close out the year with me and be brave enough and wisdomly enough to do that because I think that that's how you can move on and release the past. So thanks. There's how this course that looks. Yes, it looks amazing. Why was I telling myself I couldn't go on camera? I have a corset armor. That's what helps. So I'll go on to my fabric tour now. Thanks for watching and please measure yourself. It's really easy. It's not hard. <laughs>